Hello everyone, I am Bradley Swart, Associate Professor of Computer and Information Science at the College of DuPage in Glen Ellen, Illinois. And this video today is covering the 2021 Advent of Code, Day 5 Hydrothermal Venture. And as always, for code like this where I'm writing it just to get it done and find a solution and move on, if it doesn't 100% work for you, then my data is different than your data and there's something slightly off that I would have fixed, but I'm sorry, I'm moving on to other problems. This is just a try to get you where you need to go. Sorry if I can't get you 100% of them. Uh, so day five, hydrothermal venture. Basically, we're just setting up a giant grid and we're just going from square to square, just dropping, basically just, just adding like how many times has this square of the ground, or the ground, I guess the, the, bot well, the bottom of the ocean floor, uh, has been touched by one of these vents. Something like that. I'll go with that. And so basically you're just going ahead and going through and you're just going, well, how many squares have been hit more than once? And so for the, 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 the target example here, I like how they always give you a small example so you can kind of test through. Because basically once you get it working for that, you almost always get it working once you put in the real, the real big data. Uh, like I did in this case today. So I get 6,379, which I probably shouldn't have told you right up front, but I won't tell you day two anyway. So, so this is my code. Oh, that's part two. That's part of part two anyway. So here's part one. So the data itself looks like this, right? So we got to be able to hack this thing down. And I decided to create a list of lists for this kind of thing. Is it a list of list of lists? What Or a list of uh, whatever. Uh, it doesn't much matter. Uh, but so I open the data, I read a line, as long as I keep reading, I keep reading, and I strip out the new line character at the end, then I split up by spaces, and that gives me three tokens. That gives me this token here, because it, the comma is part of this thing, so it's nice that everything's together this time. And then the arrow, and then this, so there's three elements that come out, and then I break that down, say, hey, element zero, strip out the comma, and then put this thing into a left-hand list, and then put the other side after line of two, the third element, into the right-hand list, and, and create a list of two lists. Throw that in, and give my you know give myself oops give myself a, a pat on the back for that. So I go through, go through, go through. So now lines is exactly what I need to get this thing done. I, I have every line in there set up as a two-dimension or uh, set up as a a list of two lists for every element you know basically that kind of stuff so now set up my grid a thousand by a thousand got to watch out for this if you know you have to you can't you have to do it this way because of the way ref you know references reference types versus value types and things like that this actually probably cost me quite a bit of time uh, this, this, this did catch me quite a bit of time because I was using the cheater, not the quote unquote, the quote unquote cheater method, and I didn't realize on Stack Overflow that it was screaming out, don't use this. Why would you put on Stack Overflow, Stack Overflow things not to use? So then this is the way to create a thousand by thousand two-dimensional grid or a, a list. All right, so then go through and say for every line in here or every line in my bunch of lines, hey, Figure out the smaller of the two values. Figure out if I'm going to go horizontal or vertical. That's what this is doing here. And I'm not even, there's no reason to explain either. Either I need to blow through horizontally or I need to blow through vertically. And that's what this is doing. And I'm just making sure that uh, I go low to high when I set that up. You know, if I'm going horizontally, I go left to right. And if I'm going vertically, I go top to bottom because that's the way my grid is set up. And I might have it, I might have it mirror imaged. I think I did. I think I looked through and I go, mine. My, when if, if you printed out the grid at the end of the day, it would be like a mirror image of what you sh what it shows in the problem. But as long as you're consistent, it really doesn't matter because then all you have to do is take the data, switch it around a little bit, transpose it, or whatever you got to do with the matrix, and you'd have the original matrix anyway. So then after all that is said and done, I'm just going in and just saying, hey, you know, increment, 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 and then increment, 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 increment for horizontal and vertical, but nothing, this one doesn't say anything about diagonal lines. The first problem is just horizontal lines and vertical lines. And then the final step after I've gone through and just did what I need to do is just go ahead and say, let's increment count one by one by one for every element in the grid that is two or greater. I guess you could say, you could do it like this if you wanted to, like that. And so when you run all of this code together, all 31 lines of my magic, magic code, you get the answer of 6,397. 
For those of you, you've probably seen the answer to, for my part two. And the only difference between this code and part two is I'm getting used to copying this thing over. Part two is now you have to take into account the uh, diagonal lines. So all of this code is the same. All of this code is the same. All of this, all of this, and then now this is a little different here because this is the this is the code to handle the diagonal lines. Because if I'm and if I can, there's two ways this thing can go, uh, or four four ways technically, right? High to low this way, low to high this way, you know, and just or whatever. I guess there's two ways to do it, or. To, or I get no. Well, there is four ways. You know, from here to there, from there to here, from here to there, there to here. And so I need to make sure that there's because it can go in four. The line can go in four different directions, right? So, is it four different? Um, like well, yeah, because it might. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Um, who's listening to this? Say hi in the comments if you're if you're six minutes into this video. Just curious. Um, but otherwise, so the, the hard part here is just to make sure, and that's what this code is doing here, is just to make sure as I go from point A to point B that the slope is proper. It's either you know positive one or negative one from point A to point B. That's all this code is doing. And and then this code at the end is the same. And if you didn't catch it, it's like 22,000. Uh, 22,335 is the solution to my problem. So that covers everything day five. This stupid little thing caught me up more than it should have. Um, and then once I realized that was that is what was happening, I will never make that mistake again. I know better now. And I'm um, ready to move on. So as always, comment below if you need to. Sorry if this video didn't help you out as much as I was hoping. Uh, I'm going over to the M. Scrog site tonight. So right now. And uh, have a good night, everybody. Uh, day six. Hope it's something I can do. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.